In this video, we're going to learn how to add a text wrap to an object and how to also ignore a text wrap if you want to add text on top of the object that has the text wrap. That's a tongue twister. Okay, so with this little area here, I want the text to wrap around this circle. So to do that, I would highlight the circle, just click it, make sure your black arrow's on, and go to your text wrap over here on your right, on your sidebar. If it's not there, then go to Window and then Text Wrap to add it. I always use the circle one here for the object because I don't, if you use square, that makes a square around the object, but if you use the circle, that, that goes around the object itself. And then you can adjust. If you, if you just click it, it's going to be zero on, automatically, but that's not, that's not really adding a text wrap. So you need to adjust. I, I like one point, or point one two five. that's a good one. So that's how you just add a simple text wrap. You can do it with any object. Um, just click the object, hit on text wrap, and then make sure to increase it. If you don't increase it, there's not enough uh, inset margins on the right or on the outside. The next thing is how to ignore a text wrap. So I've, I've typed this here and I want to add it to this bubble that has a text wrap. But you'll notice if I do that, it makes the text disappear because it has a text wrap and this is text. So it wants the text to automatically wrap around it. So if I, if I were to move this down, you'll see, there it is. It's going to appear after the object. Well, I don't want that to happen. So to prevent that from happening, you just click your text box, make sure it's clicked, and go to Object, then go to Text Frame Options, and click Ignore Text Wrap. Make sure Preview is selected here so you can see what it's going to look like. Um, but again, if you if that's unchecked, so it, it goes beneath the object, but if you click it, it goes on top of the object, just like we want. And that's it. That's all you need.